What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. On this segment, we're going to talk about whether or not Sean O'Malley is the real deal. He just beat Piotr Jan, split decision. Let's dive into this. So at this point, I'm going to ask again, is Sean O'Malley elite? Is he the real deal? And to, uh, to answer, to get to the point early, I'm going to say no. I don't think he's proven himself. I think he's kind of like a hype job. I think he's overrated. I think he got lucky tonight. And he's going to get exposed. And you know what else? Just kidding. But that's what some people will still say. You know it. There are those, quote, fans out there that are still going to talk smack, still going to doubt this guy. And it's like this cycle, and it's like kind of comical. Whenever somebody new hits the scene, whether or not it's like blatantly obvious they have a lot of skill, well, not obvious to some people, your true casual fan is not going to recognize fighter skill. And there are far more casual fans out there with like zero training experience, no fight experience, not longtime viewers. They definitely outweigh the other crowd, the other type of MMA fan. So again, it's like a cycle. I mean, anytime somebody new comes along, they're very skillful. It's always the same thing. Oh, hype job. Oh, he's not that good. Oh, who's he faced? Well, of course, they haven't faced anybody big or great yet because they're starting their career. And it's like you see these same comments with Patty Pimlet. That guy's good, man. That guy's a good fighter and he's improving. Now, to say he's going to be champion one day, it's kind of a stretch. You never know, though. But it's so funny how, like, this cycle just repeats itself. And it's like these fans, like, they don't learn. Like, stop counting people out so early on. Especially if you don't know what you're looking at. So, out the gate, I've always praised Sean O'Malley's skill. His striking. I thought his ground game was coming along. I did think the guy was something special on some level. And he possibly was going to go far. Am I saying he's going to become champion? No, I'm not. But it's blatantly obvious this guy has really, really good high-level striking. And if his ground game keeps catching up, he's going to be a major problem. His win today was it was controversial. Very, very close fight. I wasn't mad at the decision. I thought Piotr Jan won. I thought he did enough to win. But, all right, they gave the nod to O'Malley. It is what it is. Fought his butt off. It was a competitive fight. It's not like he got squashed anyway. He gave Piotr Jan hell, man. So at this point, for anybody to say that Sean O'Malley is a hype job, he's just a clown, he's a character, he's going to get exposed, he's no good, that's just crazy talk at this point. He silenced a lot of doubters. Now, he might be facing Aljo. I think that's an interesting fight. I think Aljo's problematic for O'Malley. But I think if the fight somehow stays on the feet, Aljo's going to have issues. I tend to favor a strong grappler, though, over a primarily striker. That's just me. I would favor Aljo in the fight. But as I think about it more, we'll see. But you guys let me know in the comment section. At this point, do you respect Sean O'Malley? Do you think he's an elite fighter? Do you think he could one day claim that belt? Do you think he can beat Aljamain Sterling? Would love to read your thoughts, guys. Thanks for watching the segment. If this is your first time at the channel and you do enjoy the content, consider hitting that subscribe button. Best way to show support, like and share. Thanks so much, guys. I'll catch you all on the next segment. Until then, take care.